This will be a short and quick hands-on video where we're going to use a Python an official library for ChatGPT. Uh, we're going to install it, we're going to configure the authentication piece, and then we're going to show an example of how to call the ChatGPT API using Python. All the steps in this video have been documented on my personal blog. We'll be using that as a reference as we go through the hands-on tutorial. So first part, we're going to install the ChatGPT library. Pretty straightforward. And what we're going to do next is we're going to um, set up a virtual environment for Python. And then we're going to install the library inside there. And then it's very easy to install it. We just use pip and then that installs the library inside the uh, virtual environment that we just installed. The, the, this is the easy part. The actually harder part is the configuring authentication piece. Um, it requires a session token and that session token is not that straightforward to get. Um, so we're going to follow the steps outlined here. Right, so when you're here in the OpenAI UI, you can uh, click, right click and then press inspect anywhere on the page. It doesn't really matter. Another thing is you can do con command shift, uh, co sorry, control shift I, and it will open the developer console. And then what you will see there is by default, it, it might go there, but click on application and you will be to see the cookies. And if you don't see that, make sure you go to chat, open AI, and then cookies. And then the cookie you want to get is the secure off and then it has session token at the end. Simply double click here, control C to copy, copy it in my clipboard. And then um, let's follow the steps as outlined here. It tells us to create a file named chatgpt.json with those contents. So let's do that. session token was it and we're pasting that and then we, we close that file um, that should be it um, just make sure you copy the right cookie value and you need to redo this whenever your session token expires which I believe might be every one or two days or so I don't remember the exact time it expires um, next we're going to we have set up the authentication piece next we're going to set it to call to call the chat GPT using the Python library we just installed so let's do some quick interactive Python you can also create a Python file um, we're going to load this uh, now we're going to load the configuration from the file that we just put in you don't you could also just copy paste it directly in here, but I like to keep my session token separate from my code. That's why I did it that way. Um, and then we have a chatbot and that will actually launch a browser. We can now use chatbot. So now we can um, ask, the, ask the chat GPT something as it here. Let's ask him how to use chat GPT using Python. Now that's finished. Let's print out the response to see what's the format of it. And then you can see that the main, the answer of ChatGPT is under the message uh, key in the deck that's returned. So uh, this would be your answer. And that's a very simple example of how to use um, the ChatGPT API using a unofficial Python library.